Let's just take care of business. It is just us out there. Just us. One, two, three. Just us. Hey! The whole saying strength in numbers really represents us as a team because that's what we relied on all year. The identity of our team was just selflessness. Every player was committed to winning. Every player set aside personal goals. As far as the squad, we're the deepest team in the NBA. Different man step up every night. A group of guys who can come in and affect the game. Every individual had a part of their game that could be a force. All of Dub Nation, the way we tie together and fight. Another eruption from the Oracle crowd. It's been a long time coming, and we'll have a bond for the rest of our lives because of what happened this year. By any measure, the 2014-15 NBA season was a historic one for the Golden State Warriors but one cannot truly appreciate their achievements without placing it in the context of their past. It was 1946, and the Warriors called Philadelphia home. In the city of brotherly love, one of the three remaining original franchises would capture the first ever league championship. And in 1956, they would win it all again. Philadelphia goes on to win the NBA crown four games to one. In 1959, things would never be the same after a local hero named Wilt Chamberlain was signed by the Warriors Hall of Fame owner, Eddie Gottlieb, affectionately known as the Mogul. Chamberlain quickly became the game's most unstoppable force. Chamberlain electrifies the crowd with his celebrated dipper down. And on March 2nd, 1962, Wilt did the unthinkable. The most amazing scoring performance of all time. Following that record-breaking season, the Warriors relocated to Northern California. Big-time basketball establishes a new base in San Francisco with the arrival of the Warriors. The Warriors' big drawing card, of course, is seven-footer Wilt Chamberlain. In 1971, the team settled across the bay in Oakland and were rebranded the Golden State Warriors. Four years later, Rick Barry would lead the team to the promised land. Playing for Coach Al Adels with Jamal Keith Wilkes and Clifford Ray, the Warriors stunned the heavily favored Washington Bullets. What a story this has been. Underdogs all the way. The Warriors have done it. The Golden State Warriors have just won the NBA championship. They have beaten the Washington Bullets in an incredible four straight. We pulled off the biggest upset in the history of the NBA, and we did it the way it's meant to be done, you know, as a team, everybody pulling together, and it's a very special bond that you have. I still remember when we came back to Golden State, and they had so many people at the airport. I remember the fans were just insane. That team was revered, with the Bay Area holding them dear in their hearts always. Years would pass before any club would capture the fans' imagination again. The Bay did revel in the exploits of Run TMC, starring Tim Hardaway and future Hall of Famers Mitch Richmond and Chris Mullen, who employed Hall of Fame coach Don Nelson's up-tempo style of play. Hardaway, fast breaking down the bottom of the shot of the Richmond reverse, down, push the foul. They're going wild. Regardless of how season after season ended, there remained one constant. The rabid fans were fiercely loyal and never wavered in their support. Golden State Warriors have pulled off the biggest playoff upset in NBA history. No fleeting moment, however glorious, could quench the thirst for another championship. But with the passage of time, the prospects seemed to grow more bleak. The Warriors have made the playoffs just once in their last 18 years, which is incredible. It's the longest current NBA playoff drop. The Bay Area is a really hotbed for basketball. But then there were lean years. When you go 17 and 65, and 19 and 63, and 21 and 61, so many dismal years. And yet the fans have always been loyal. Inevitably, that dismal outlook would extend beyond the court. Kind of a, a cloud hanging over the franchise ownership. Right. So the ownership thing is very much in limbo. However, the fog lifted, and the fortunes of the franchise took a dramatic turn. As new owners Joe Lacob and Peter Goober took control of the team in time for the 2010-11 season 
and forged ahead together in a new direction. The Warriors hold on! Amidst all of the uncertainty, they were sure of just a couple of things. The task ahead would not be quick or easy. Joe, I'm gonna tell you up front, Joe's below 500 for crime and he says. Yeah, huh? I, I'm a pretty long-term thinking kind of guy and I realize that uh, it doesn't happen overnight. Joe Lacob is a wildly successful venture capitalist who's helped launch scores of startup companies, while Peter Goober is a renowned Academy Award-winning film producer and entrepreneur in the entertainment and communications industries. But despite their different backgrounds, the two share core beliefs. An opening night out of our ownership, I was introduced. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Lacob and Peter Goober. Getting ready to take the mic, 19,000 people there. I didn't really know what I was gonna say. I didn't plan it in advance. And I saw the banner up there and I just pointed. If you look up there, that is a very lonely flag. We want another one. I told everybody what I thought was from a heart, which is these are the greatest fans in the world and you deserve more. My new favorite color is blue and yellow, and my favorite letter is W. Lots of W's. Go get them, Warriors. We were just trying to do our job, which was to win. That's it, we wanted to win. And we set some lofty goals. I think people thought we were uh, being a little outlandish when we said within five years we would challenge for a championship. We get a lot of bumps in the road. We get a lot ahead of us. And the idea is that's the challenge, that's the journey. But we knew we had to look for us and listen for us before we did anything. So what we saw was the opportunity of the canvas, not the opportunity of the paint on the canvas. The new owners felt that a cornerstone of the future was already in place. When we bought the team, there was one guy, he was a rookie, had played one year, Steph Curry. The son of 16-year NBA veteran Dell Curry had already shown flashes of greatness. Steph Curry has now made more threes than any rookie in NBA history. But he couldn't turn things around by himself. A disappointing loss. My rookie year, we won 26 games, and you wanted to figure out how you can you know, get better individually and as a team. Ownership was determined to add excellence to their organization from top to bottom. They brought in people to help them make basketball decisions. You know, immediately bring in Jerry West. Gives you credibility. He's there to, to be that voice in the room and say, no, we need to do this or we don't need to do that. The challenge became how to construct a roster around their budding star. Our whole plan was build a culture. Oh, sounds good. All right, great, good. I love you. Sorry to bother you. Oh, no, you're fine. So what we did was we began to populate the organization with people who believed in the same tenets that we did. Let's go, young fellow. It was about taking risk. It was about reaching ahead over the horizon when we couldn't see and try to create the environment for people to aspire to that success. This is a team with a pretty bright future. Our ownership's done an unbelievable job of building with character and chemistry. Getting guys in here that love to play the game and are, are willing to sacrifice for one another. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. In 2011, the Warriors selected Clay Thompson, another second generation star in the making with a sweet stroke. We knew we had to get skilled players that were bigger, longer, high IQ guys, cerebral players. Midway through the 2012 season, center Andrew Bogut was acquired to fortify the interior. Good pass and thrown out by Bogut. That evolved into a philosophy of how do we play a variety of styles? How do we get multi-positional players and try to change the way the NBA was played a little bit? Later that summer, the Warriors struck lottery gold again in Harrison Barnes and added Festus Azili with the 30th pick. In the second round, they found a gym in Draymond Green. Bounce pass, Draymond goes up and slams it down! A little elevation sensation for Draymond Green! The remodeled Warriors would win 47 games and achieve a goal they'd accomplished for just the second time in 19 seasons. And the Golden State Warriors 
have qualified for the postseason in the Western Conference. Just listen to the crowd. You guys are the best fans in the NBA. You deserve this as much as we do, so we're ready to go. The fire was stoked further when the six-seeded Warriors upset the Denver Nuggets. Golden State will advance. Golden State goes to the second round. Despite losing to San Antonio in six games, the future looked bright. And we can build on this for next year. And you know, whoever's in that Warrior locker room next year will be ready to go. Suddenly, the opportunity to get to that next level materialized. When we met with him, Andre immediately said he wanted to be a Warrior. He, we felt, would be something that no team had. Six starters. The signing paid immediate dividends. <laughs> When a 51-win season ended abruptly in the opening round at the hands of the Clippers, it felt like some of the momentum had been lost. It hurts even more because you've tasted it before, you taste a little bit of success and you want more. So um, definitely stings a little more than last year. The organization came to the conclusion that there was one more move to make. The decision to change the coach was a risk. We wanted to do better. We wanted to aspire to something greater. And so the idea was, how do you find that person that can lead that charge? We picked Steve Kerr. And we interviewed him. He was incredibly prepared. He's obviously very, very smart. He had been around incredibly great coaches, has five rings. We all felt confident that he was the right guy to turn good into great, even though he had not coached before. There was some uncertainty but we knew he, he understood the game of basketball at a very high level. I was a player, you know, front office guy, an analyst. But you never know how the transition is going to go. The number one item on my list when I arrived was just to get to know all the players. Phone calls, visits, lunches, golf rounds, whatever. I knew it was already a good team, and I was hoping we could become a great team. When the Golden State Warriors opened training camp for the 2014-15 NBA season, one of the first moves made by their new coach was perhaps his boldest, requiring a leap of faith from one of his most established veterans. Andre and I talked several times during training camp about the idea of him coming off the bench. And when he agreed to do it, it set the tone for our team and for the entire season. Here's this all-star, this Olympian, who is gonna sacrifice and come off the bench. Well, at that point, you know, the rest of the team needs to, to do the same thing. For a guy like Iguodala, an all-star, to almost take a back seat, seeing guys like that decide to do that for the team, it kind of started off a chain reaction for us as a team. You know, that, that selflessness. Come on now, let's go. The Warriors bolted out of the gate playing a beautiful brand of ball built upon a commitment to one another that was at the core of their mission. Unselfish taxi. That's what Steve Kerr preaches. They don't care who scores. Well, keep the ball going. Keep the action moving. They were racking up wins with their high-powered offense. Goodell to the rack. Fakes a beautiful rack around the space for a layup. And their tenacious defense. They're the top-rated offensive team and the top-rated defensive team. Hey, come on! Let's get a stop! Make a stand! Draymond Green, good hands. Push out to Steph. Foot race with McDaniels. Curry top seven! We got off to a great start and just kept winning and winning and winning. Curry for the lead! Go! Ten straight wins. When we went on that winning streak, I think we started to figure some things out of our team. Now a new franchise record is they have just won their 13th consecutive game. It was like, man, we knew we kind of found something. Like, we, we, we have a formula here. We have something that works. Hey, don't stop moving the ball. Come on. Don't stand around. And the Golden State Warriors have won 16 straight games. They start the season 21-2. and two. 
After the first 20 or 30 games, you know, we felt like, man, we're doing this consistently on a nightly basis. We know it's a long season, it's a process, but we felt like we had something special going. Golden State was on a roll, and nobody in the association was playing with more confidence than their all-star floor general, Stephen Curry. Curry pushing, Curry down the lane, Curry to the run. Steph has a, a really unique combination of skill and humility. Curry behind the back dribble, comes baseline, underhand, teardrop! You've gotta be kidding me! He just keeps getting better and better. It's a result of his talent and his work ethic and his commitment. He wants to be great. Push, 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 push. good, Steph. Curry, get out of the back, step to the rim to lay it up and in. There's a fearless feeling of we can beat anybody at any time. And that comes from Steph. What a pass by Curry. A couple of times I asked him, do you know what you've been doing in the league? What a spectacular move. Beautiful ball handling. He just plays in a whole whole different level and a different speed. Do you understand what you've been doing? 55 seconds left. Curry on Felton takes a three. Got it! He's got 51, and the Warriors have iced this one. Jump, jump. Beautiful, beautiful. All those ridiculous step backs and double crossovers behind the back. He hits. I see a practice that every single day. Curry, a lot of traffic over there. Curry just dribbles through four guys. Steps out for three! That could be the greatest move I've ever seen one. <laughs> that's motivating. The best player is one of your hardest workers. It's special, and that's, you know, trickle-down effect. But Curry was not a one-man show. His backcourt mate, Clay Thompson, was enjoying a breathtaking breakout season of his own. Thompson slips to the paint on the go floater. Got it! Clay Thompson gives the Warriors the lead. Clay had a dominant start to the season where he was carrying us for games. Hey Thompson on Kobe, draws the foul, gets to the line! Clay Thompson, 41. He showed that he belongs in the elite group of the NBA. Thompson did not merely exist in Curry's shadow. In fact, on a January night, Clay took center stage and rewrote NBA history. In the third quarter, Clay Thompson started to do something incredibly special. Clay driving again! one of those nights, uh, it was a zone. Curry waits, shovel pass, Thompson, three ball right side, got it! <laughs> He's got a 27 point quarter! That was bananas, you know, I'm just sitting there with my jaw wide open, just absolutely going crazy for him. Curry's got Thompson on his left, you better get it to him. <laughs> Gives it to Clay, Clay in the corner, shoots, it's good! He was off balance, it had no business going in! It's that kind of quarter for Clay Thompson. The best part about that night is just all my buckets were coming from my teammates, man. They just kept feeding me the ball. They wanted to see me shoot. Play it again in three. They were so happy for me. It's Clay Thompson's show. He's not human. It's one of the most unbelievable shooting performances this league has ever seen. 37 in a quarter. Wow. 52 in 32 minutes. Dub the Splash Brothers. Curry and Thompson had served notice that they comprise basketball's best backcourt. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson combined yeah. to be the top scoring duo in the league. Their bond stretches beyond the lines of the court. <laughs> Each is also a son of a former NBA player. That's the advantage of growing up around the game, going to practice every day and watching the best players in the world, how they conduct themselves, how they work. When you get elevation on your threes, they they always go. It's all your legs. Their time shared together last summer at the FIBA Basketball World Cup spoke volumes about their commitment to the game and to one another. Going to Spain and playing on that team and winning a gold medal in a different environment, I learned a lot more about him, both on and off the court, and gotten closer as he made some friends. I think that set us up for a lot of success this year as a backcourt. Curry off the dribble. And then pops it back out to Thompson. Here's Clay Thompson, nowhere to go. They've got it to Curry. He fires. Yes! Oh, man! If you want to talk about the Splash Brothers. Steph and Clay are once in a lifetime duo. When you look at the history of this league, I don't know if you've seen a backcourt like that. You're here in New York. 
All-Star Weekend is gonna be fabulous. When the biggest stars in the game came to the Big Apple, it was only fitting that Thompson and Curry would help represent the Western Conference on a team coached by Steve Kerr. He wants me to see this big old All-Star yeah. logo right here. Let him know who's here. What I was thinking today is just how cool it is for each one of you, your own unique story and how you got here. You know, here we are in the, the Mecca, in the garden, and this is what it's about. Thompson the other way, gets by LeBron James and lays it up and in. What's going on, buddy? Get some more cardio in. Yes, sir. I don't know. I thought I totally outcoached you. We'll, you know? we'll make sure we make a point of that in the press conference. <laughs> that was fun. That yeah, was fun. Great. Yeah. As the season rolled on, the Splash Brothers may have garnered most of the headlines, but this talented troupe got contributions on a nightly basis up and down the lineup. This roster is so deep and so versatile. We make a steal, we come down, we get a good pass, and we lay it in. Tuck it away. Iguodala will push. Iguodala on the run to David Lee. Everybody from the starter to the guy at the end of the bench, we all count on everybody every night. Big rebound as Draymond between two Cavaliers. And here's a lob to Harrison Barnes. Draymond Green made a significant impact by doing the dirty work that can go unnoticed but can breed success. Remain. Thrust into a starting role, Harrison Barnes blossomed in his third NBA season. He goes to Barnes, he moves inside, got it! Beats the buzzer, Golden State wins! Andrew Bogut was an imposing figure at the heart of the defense. Made a terrific rejection inside by Bogut. And their immense depth supplied regular contributions from their bench players like David Lee. Iguodala behind the back to Lee. Maurice Spates. Goes it to They call him Mo Buckets for a reason. Sean Livingston. Livingston, what a finish. Festus Azili. Lee, extra feed, Azili, it's good. And Leandro Barbosa. Barbosa three. I told you I was going to get him engaged in the game. <laughs> But the biggest contributor from the second unit was Andre Iguodala, who embraced his new role as sixth man and flourished in that capacity. The hardest part about it was getting into my comfort level coming off the bench. Very different. But I was just trying to get it done for our team. Andre down the lane to lay it in with the left hand. What a big shot. We have so many guys that can be stars somewhere else that put themselves in the back seat for the team. Skip pass, Iguodala ready. There's that curry. Oh, what a pass. Oh, he dumps the ball. We had a lot of selfless guys, and the sign of a championship team is when you don't care who gets the accolades and the minutes and, and, and the shots, um, but you're filling up the win column, and, and we do that throughout the season. Warriors! Warriors! The wins kept piling up, especially at home. Fanatically supported by the most boisterous crowd in the NBA, the Dubs would rack up a 39-2 record at Oracle Arena. It is absolutely inexplicable how devoted and passionate this fan base is in the Bay Area for the Warriors. I don't see it replicated anywhere in the country. Don't get behind the back, the lob, and the crowd goes crazy. Coming in here as a player for many, many years when the Warriors weren't any good, and yet the, the building was sold out, the crowd was loud. So to have a chance to have a special season in front of these kinds of fans, pretty awesome. The clock is down to eight. Thompson, Curry the three for the lead. Go! Even on the occasional nights when it appeared they might come up short, it seemed the Warriors would find a way. Golden State down 26 points. They roar back to win. It kind of got to the point where you lose a game and it just felt like so weird. And as they wrapped up their schedule, the numbers told the tale of a spectacular run. Curry dribbles and waits for a screen, gets it, the three look, it's out of the way, it's good! And he's got 273 three-pointers, a new NBA single season record. 
Clinching the league's best mark, Golden State claimed the top seed and the home court edge throughout the postseason. Wow, is this team good! Win number 60. And a magical season just continues. It's just another win, man. We, uh... Stop. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, man, we, uh... It was great to be a part of this. It's a big, big time, big time accomplishment for our team. I mean, you gotta be proud of that. Obviously, we want to turn those wins into playoff success as well. But to be in that 60 club is pretty special. When the dust settled on the regular season, the Warriors had won 67 games, tying them for the sixth highest total in NBA history. A lot of people are picking you guys to actually get out of the West, even with all your success. Does that make you guys mad? It's motivating, and it should be. I understand, you know, we do. We got to prove to people that we're the best team. Despite a storybook regular season, the Warriors were subjected to skepticism. Could a jump shooting team that had never made it out of the second round really win it all? It was funny, you know, we won 67 games, we had a great regular season, all these accomplishments, and people looked at our formula and said, there's no way that you guys can win a championship like that. Any team that hasn't made a deep playoff run before, you're always going to have that kind of hanging over you. You guys were a great regular season team. What are you gonna be in the postseason? Their first challenge was a tall order. The All-NBA First Team's Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy in the crowd. Use it to our advantage. Be poised, lock in right away. Here we go. Here comes Curry. Curry to the basket. Foul. Shots good and one. When the series opened, Golden State looked much like the team that had rampaged through the regular season. Draymond Green with the steal. Two on one with Iguodala. Draymond Lob. Andre with a dunk. 41 and 2 at home. And when you lead 2 0, you got a great chance of winning the series. The scene shifted to the Big Easy with the Warriors anxious to take a commanding lead in this opening round matchup. But the Pelicans had other plans. So now you're down 20 and it's the start of the fourth quarter. You're going, okay, well, it looks like we're going back for game five. We've had 20-point comebacks throughout the season. This is just a resilient group. No matter what was placed in front of us, we always knew we can overcome it. Down by 20 points, but undeterred, it was time to stage a furious rally. Excellent defensive stand. Running the break. Curry for three. Oh, oh throw down. Oh, they're not dead yet. Even when our backs are against the wall, we have that will to fight, and that will to fight it can bring us back from whatever situation that we find ourselves in. Curry lets Holiday go by, and Steph Curry hits a three. Two-point game. In our broadcast, we talked about if they could ever cut it to single digits. The Warriors have been here. They know what these comebacks smell like. Late in a one-possession game, the Warriors found a way to get the ball into Curry's hands one more time. Curry in the corner, shoots on the way. Got it! He hit it! 2.8 to go! It is amazing what Steph Curry can do with a basketball. Overcoming an almost insurmountable deficit, they'd seal the deal in the extra session. A tremendous comeback by the Golden State Warriors. They stunned the crowd here with one of their greatest wins in franchise history. It was as incredible a finish as I've ever seen. It's one of the greatest comebacks in sports history, especially when you consider it happened in a playoff game. For us to not hold our heads down, come back and just fight, that's what happens when you, when you don't lose confidence and you just stick with it. Having taken the Pelicans' best shot, but still standing tall, the Warriors went right back to work and took care of business in game four. The Warriors with their first sweep in a seven-game series since the 1975 Finals. Total group effort, I mean, from top to bottom. This is special. Get to enjoy my teammates and uh, get back to Oakland. Building a winning culture was extended to every level of the organization. 
later that same weekend, their D-League affiliate in Santa Cruz completed their own dream season. Under three to play. Williams drops it off. Sutton lays it in with the left. The 2015 NBA D-League Championship will reside here in Santa Cruz, California. It was great, proud way to play. Best team in the league all year. I mean, record yeah. shows it. Look at the atmosphere. It's always fun coming down here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. That's just foreshadowing. Back in the NBA's postseason, the Warriors had dispatched the New Orleans Pelicans, an up-and-coming squad that had not yet been tested by the rigors of the playoffs. But in round two, they'd faced the battle-hardened Memphis Grizzlies, who had legitimate title aspirations. We understand that when we played Memphis, that was going to be the, probably the hardest series we played all playoffs. First playoff matchup between these two teams and what makes it very interesting, a contrast in styles. They're known for being a physical team, you know, uh, great and grind. That's, you know, that's their motto. And the Warriors are almost the exact opposite. They, they want to run, shoot threes in transition. And in game one, the Warriors would dictate both style and tempo while knocking down 13 three-pointers in route to a 15-point victory. Golden State wins at home again. They take game one. That's 21 straight at home. When you're on a roll like this, life is good. But in game two, Mike Conley performed heroically, playing through facial fractures as the Grizzlies turned the contest into a physical affair. Right away, Memphis goes inside. And pounded out a rare win for the visitors at Oracle Arena to even the series. Memphis slowed the game down. They made it physical. They played the way they play. And they're really good at it. First home loss since late January. An impressive performance by the Memphis Grizzlies. And they have stolen the home court. As the venue shifted to the grindhouse, the Grizzlies continued to play their game, muscling their way to a second straight win. Memphis with back-to-back -back wins against the number one seed in the West, the Golden State Warriors. The Grizzlies have a two games to one lead. And the team that was the best team in the NBA all year has gotten punched in the gut. When the Warriors went down 2-1, you know, they, I think they were in, in trouble. I think this was the moment for the Warriors in this playoff run. I could have seen that locker room, you know, as a player, as a veteran, that we have a little question in each one of us. Down 2-1 in the series and facing their first three-game losing streak of the season, it was clear that the Warriors needed to get back to playing their style of basketball. A game of adjustments. Coming in, you know, obviously they won the last one, so trying to come in and take care of business tonight. We led the league in pace, we led the league in scoring. And we did it by being patient, by moving the ball, hitting the open man, and having poise. Curry kicks it. Big Adele wide open, they let him shoot, he buries a triple. Game four, we grew up. You know, just the way that we played, the way we hustled, you know, the way we came out, that fire that we played with. Golden well, State's got the pedal down right here. This has been a good old-fashioned NBA blowout. And the Golden State Warriors grab a road win. We had such a successful year that we weren't going to let a 2-1 deficit uh, derail that. Buoyed by their bounce-back effort, Golden State had not only seized the home court advantage, but had also rediscovered their groove. Green weaving, trying to get the shot up. No call that way. Curry flings it the other way. And he got it! What a turnaround! Curry the three! Reinvigorated, they posted a pair of double-digit victories to close out Memphis in six. Two seconds, one second, and the Golden State Warriors start to charge onto the floor. For the first time in nearly four decades, the Golden State Warriors were just four wins away from a trip to the NBA Finals. And for the first time in 55 years, the league's most prestigious individual award had been bestowed upon one of their own. You work hard every single day. You try to elevate your game to new levels every, every opportunity you have. But you never really expect that to happen, you know, to become an MVP. To be standing here in front of you today, it's an incredible journey. And Pops, 
You're the example of what a true professional is on and off the court. I remember a lot of your career. Um, and to be able to follow in your footsteps. It, uh, it means a lot to me. This is special. Um, I'm really proud of you know what you were able to do in your career. And um, I don't take that for granted at all. These 14 guys sitting on the stage right here, um, you guys push me every single day. And a reason why this trophy's sitting here and hopefully another trophy will be sitting here in, in a couple months. Curry had claimed the MVP trophy. And in the opener of the ensuing Western Conference Finals against Houston, he demonstrated why he was so worthy of the honor. Curry for three. Bang! And the Warriors take game one. That series was interesting. Uh, a lot of respect for that team, a lot of firepower on that team. The Rockets' James Harden had been the runner-up in the MVP race, but he was not content to take a backseat to anyone, putting his entire repertoire on display. Harden is putting on a one-on-one -on -one clinic. It posed some, some matchup problems for us, but at the same time, we were the number one defensive team in the league this year. People forgot about that because we're such a run-and-gun team. It gave us a, a good opportunity to win a lot of games. It was that stout defense spearheaded by Bogut that enabled the Warriors to defuse the Rockets' attack and was the difference maker in game two, as Golden State clung to a slim lead in the closing moments. Seven seconds to go. Harden down the near side. Dribbles in. Throws out to Howard. Back to Harden. One second. Can't get the shot off. The horn sounds. The game's over. The Warriors win. Unbelievable. Big win, protect home court. Anytime you can go to and on the start of the series is big. We got to play better, though, so that's what we got in store for, uh, for Houston coming up. After winning two nail biters in front of the home crowd, it was time to take the show on the road. And Golden State got another stellar performance from their leading man. Curry, deep three off a screen, knocked it down. Steph Curry from downtown. Steph did not simply rely on his deft touch. He got his whole body into it. Curry offensive rebound, put back, and he's fouled by Howard. My goodness, just boxed out to White Howard, and Steph Curry is on another planet right now. Stephen Curry with an extraordinary performance as Golden State wins game three by 35. Golden State needed just one win to punch their ticket to the NBA Finals. Despite stumbling, they headed back to Oakland, intent upon finishing what they had started. It's our moment, fellas. Every possession, bring that focus, bring that energy. Let's get this win. Just us. One, two, three. Just us. From the outset of game five, it was apparent that Golden State had come too far to be denied. This dream season will roll on for these Warriors. Horn sounds. Final score. Warriors 104. Rockets 90. The Warriors are the NBA's Western Conference champions. That's what we wanted from day one. We're on our way. Taking it all in. This is beautiful. So happy for all these fans. We've been waiting a long time for them. Phrase you thought you would not hear in your lifetime. The Golden State Warriors are going to the NBA Finals. The Warriors team have been here 40 some years, so we got four more wins to finish off the job. This is, uh, we should enjoy this. Get recharged, refocused for the finals. Ready to go. Already waiting in the wings, were LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. 11 months earlier, the four-time NBA MVP had announced he would be returning to Cleveland, touching off a wild celebration in Ohio. The Cavs would then trade for three-time All-Star Kevin Love to join forces with James and the explosive Kyrie Irving. We see LeBron has an advantage. Kai, you can enter direct that side. Better slow and right than fast and wrong. Excellent, excellent. After finding their footing under first-year head coach David Blatt, the Cavaliers were the most dominant team in the Eastern Conference throughout the second half of the season. 
Cavaliers, 53rd win of the season. Playoffs, we are ready. Despite losing Kevin Love to a season-ending shoulder injury in the first round sweep of the Celtics, James and the Cavaliers exacted a little revenge on the Chicago Bulls, a franchise that had tormented Clevelanders in the past. James for the win! It's gone! LeBron James at the buzzer! In the Eastern Conference Finals, they would vanquish the top-seeded 60-win Atlanta Hawks in four straight. I just want to tell you, man, what you did for, the, for this team and for this city coming back and what you did. You deserve this. You deserve it, man. What's up? Let's keep going. What's up? For LeBron James, it would be a history-making fifth straight finals appearance. Win, lose, or draw, we will give our best shot. And I will, as the leader, have our guys ready for war. I remember before game one, and I was in the gym every night, even after practices, I kind of had this blueprint laid out, how I would make my mark on the finals. So I was really gonna put my stamp on it. And it's funny, because my son said, you gonna get hot for the finals. And I laughed at him, I'm like, you know, son, I'm just making sure I'm prepared, for being ready for the moment. Let's go Warriors! Warriors, they look to take another step closer to an NBA title, something fans in the Bay Area haven't seen in 40 years. Right now, it's crazy being a Warrior fan because it's been so long, it's been a generation. I was here for the, uh, the 1975 championship, and it's just awesome that my daughter can come with me now. It's been a lot of dark days here, but now it's a new day, and you'll see grown men crying if they win it here. It's exciting and just can't wait to hoop in about an hour and a half. A lot of nerves, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It was surreal just being there. The amount of anxiety that you have, seeing all the fans. You're on the world stage, so everybody's watching. We've earned this trip. Every second of this should be enjoyable. And the best way to enjoy it is to just let that thing fly and play like you know how to play. The task ahead would be a daunting one. The Cleveland Cavaliers won a roll, and they were led by the game's preeminent superstar. You look across the court, and there's a guy that's been there five straight times. There's one, two of them. The new experience didn't phase him at all. We went through every task. We went through everything. By any means necessary, you pick your brother up and feet down. Congrats, man. I'm so Thank happy you, for you. Coach. It's crazy, isn't it? Not a fabulous season. Thank you. You too. Good luck with everything. You already know what time it is, Joe. Nope. Dominate this game from the beginning. The extensive experience that LeBron James brought to the table served to calm his crew as the finals got underway. Oh, he knocks it down! That was in stark contrast to the Western Conference champs, who struggled to find their rhythm. It's an eight nothing Cavs run. They lead by six. Draymond Green, bad pass. Threw it right to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving drives, goes up and scores over Draymond. It's exactly how I thought this game would start. A lot of energy, frantic pace. Everybody's a little, little jumpy, a little nervous. That's, that's supposed to happen. It's the final. Iguodala with the dribble on the blind. Crossover dribble gets by him to the rack and he dumped it down with 0.5 to go in the corner. Golden State getting a little life there at the end. The first quarter of the finals in the books. Everybody, the first quarter, is trying to do it on their own, and it's not going to work against this team. But if we move it, and we cut, and we set screens, we're going to get open. Curry weaving, now driving, comes baseline left, shoveled out to Draymond, back to Curry, corner three, got it! And Cleveland will take timeout. That's it. Keep pushing the ball. As their nervousness wore off, the Warriors saw their MVP turn it on. Let's go, Steph! Let's go, Steph! Let's go, Steph! Curry with a dribble, guided by LeBron. Crossover, beats LeBron to the paint, over Moscow with the left hand! One team has the MVP. The other team has the best player in the world. 
With dogged determination, LeBron James seemed to be unstoppable in his quest to capture the home court advantage. As the Cavs go back up by four. I want him to see one go in. We're going to keep playing, I'm going to keep playing. Cleveland posed a different challenge. They ran a lot of isolation ball. They're the, one of the best players in the world, obviously, on their team, LeBron James. And then we got to pick our poison. Do we go and double? Do we go late? Do we go early? Do we just fake at him? Nothing! Nothing! Come on now! Put it together for one quarter! For one quarter! Screen set by Mozgov. Tap of the key three for the blind. Good! And he ties the game at 96. He's got 42. In the waning moments of game one, Golden State had the ball and a chance to seize control. All right, here we go. Let's win a basketball game. Well, we thought this had the potential to be a dream matchup. So far, so good. Back to Curry on the white sideline. Drives by Irving, gets to the rim. Play a block by Kyrie Irving. And the Cavs call time. Following the squandered opportunity, the Cavs could win it in regulation. It was up to Andre Iguodala to deny the King. LeBron left side, dribbles, waits, fades, and fires. It's up, it's no good. Rebound the corner, Shepard shoots. No good off the rim and had a chance to go in. And we'll go to overtime. Five minutes, win the game, let's go. As soon as we can get to our game plan, offensively we'll be in great shape. Curry, hook pass on top, Iguodala. Chest pass over to Barnes, he's over the hill, fire. Three ball! Top corner, pocket Harris and Barnes! As the Warriors hit their stride in overtime, the Cavaliers stumbled, and in the process, lost all-star point guard Kyrie Irving to a season-ending knee injury. As Irving is gonna go back to the Cavalier locker room. With Cleveland's arsenal depleted, Golden State would ratchet up their defense to extinguish any remaining hope that Cleveland had. Tristan Thompson, who has it stolen away by Clay Thompson. James Jones is stripped and stolen by Draymond Green. Golden State, in overtime, comes up strong defensively, limiting the Cavaliers to one of 10 from the field. Just two points. They'll tie the lowest scoring OT in NBA Finals history. And the Warriors dominated, and they had enough for a blitz in overtime to win that game, but it was a precursor of how difficult the series would be. The Warriors were down 14 in the first half. They went 108 to 100 and take a 1 0 lead in the best of seven NBA Finals. The emotions of playing the NBA Finals, that weighs on you alone. And after game one, then you kind of got that feeling that this entire series is going to be a fight. Three more. Three more and we got a ring, baby, let's go! On Thursday night, Cleveland lost more than just a game. All-star point guard Kyrie Irving is out for the series with a fractured kneecap, and now the Cavaliers have to fill a major void. Guys, we've been in this situation before, and to all of your credit, that's what brought us to where we are right now. I'm motivated to get our guys ready to go tomorrow. Good work. Good job. Way to be sharp. You know, with Kyrie being out, people are writing us off. So um, next man up, and um, the guys will be ready for the challenge. We're coming out the window tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Together. Golden State survived game one, and now the storyline has changed. Kyrie Irving is out, and the Cavaliers have to change course. Got to get it done. Hey, without Kyrie, they going to come out playing hard. We just got to do what we do. Hey, next man up mentality. How you going to make a difference? How you going to make the play to get us over the hump? There was a sense of urgency hanging in the air because the most dangerous opponent can be a wounded one. LeBron spins to the paint, takes a fadeaway jumper and scores. Tough shot by LeBron James, who's now 5 of 9 from the field for 10 points. Possession by possession. Just get a stop, get a score. Get a stop, rebound, move the ball, come on down and play our game. Answering the coach's call was their all-star shooting guard. Wayne Thompson! He's 7 of 9 from the field. He has 7 of their 11 field goals. Thompson, Warriors want to push. Thompson lobs to Andre, catches and slams it down! Iguodala with an elevation 
Vincent sensation that time. Come on, energy down. But the Cavaliers would not back down. Mozgov, left-handed, pretty play from Mozgov. A terrific first half for Cleveland without Kyrie Irving. We gotta come out and be the aggressor and attack at both ends and play with some fire, play with a sense of urgency. In a matchup not lacking for luster, it was the unlikeliest of players who would step up to put his stamp on game two. Trying to guard Steph Curry is not an easy task. And Dellavedova did that for them. This game for Cleveland, it's been all about their defense. Dellavedova, part of that defense, starting in place of Kyrie Irving. He did an unbelievable job for them, and I think it was one of the reasons why the series was so competitive. They've been so aggressive today, and it's because of Dellavedova. There's no doubt about it. Playing with a desperation befitting their dire situation, the Cavaliers forged ahead. Timeout Golden State as the Cavaliers take an 11 point lead. A triple double for LeBron James. We're up 1 0. Let's play loose and free. Let's go try to, try to get this one. We haven't played well. We can steal it. Right, let's go. Caught by Curry, who takes a three. Off the rim, no good. Iguodala the rebound. Inside, a dunk for Barnes, a foul by J.R. Smith. Golden State fighting back down the stretch. High drama here in Oakland. 15 seconds left. The Warriors are down by two. Curry off the screen. Swift traffic down the lane to the rim. Layup good! We're tied! For the first time in NBA history, the first two games of the NBA Finals are going to overtime. Got it, right? what we do. We got a lot of heart. We got a lot of fight in us. Let's finish the deal like we did the other night. Presented a second chance to steal a game on the road, LeBron James and the Cavaliers displayed determination, unwilling to be denied again. James finds Shepard. Shepard gets a good look. Goes to Shepard for a three. Got it! And the Cavaliers with 10.1 seconds remaining in overtime. Lead the Warriors 94 93. Now Golden State with a chance. Step back, jumper, it's an air ball. It's grabbed by LeBron. This one is over. And we are going back to Cleveland tied at one. And this crowd stunned. Bill, couldn't be proud We got right back where we won, though. That was an even series. We're going home. Game two, they really got after us a little bit. It kind of showed what it really meant to be in the finals. That kind of woke us up. From here on out, you gotta get better, right? We, you're in the same position against Memphis. We figure it out, and we go. 1-1, one, one, slide to Cleveland tomorrow, let's keep rolling. Games one and two, kind of set the stage for this series. And the competitiveness of those games were brutal. I don't know how we faced LeBron, who's been there. We knew it would be a tough task. I know our fans are going to be unbelievable tonight. Let's go. This is how we do it in Cleveland, baby. This is how we do it. And this will probably be the loudest I've ever heard them. I think our guys are, are very excited about you know, playing in front of them. The most viable player, Stephen Curry, is coming off a nightmarish game, too. Will the Warriors bounce back from a loss and raise their level of play? Energy and passion and intensity, brother. 48 minutes, let's go, let's man up. We play the same way we played on the West Coast, the same way, the same locked-in mentality. Don't let the guard down. LeBron James takes him right base like The frenzy that was felt throughout the arena at the start of game three fueled the Cavaliers' stifling defense and disrupted the Warriors' high-powered attack. Ball deflected by Miller. Miller dives and keeps it alive. This Cleveland defense just tenacious. We were being soft. The Cavs were out there fighting, and it wasn't working. James lowers the shoulder, gets inside, and switches to the left hand. And the first half is in the books. Cavaliers 44, Warriors 37. So right there, guys, we got to keep our poise and we got to bring our brains to this half. Bring our brains and our hearts and compete. Compete, compete, compete. Top 
Gets and drives on Mozgov. Gets to the rim and throws it down. Oh, impressive dunk from Clay Thompson. At that end, we must continue to move. Don't stop. Now's not the time to get static. Oh, this time it's on the right side. Works on Barnes. Heels back to Delavadova, who unloads a three. Hey! Knocks it down! Delavadova has 15 points, and the Cavaliers have a 15 point lead. We're too good to play like this. We're too good to hang our heads. All right, we came back from 11 down in three minutes the other night. All right, there's a lot of time, but we got to play, we got to compete. Barbosa dribbles around Delavadova, the floater, no good. Lee jammed it down. Two hand slam. Well, if any team has the ability to come back from a huge deficit, it's Golden State. Curry on the right side. Reverse and scores going right to left. Golden State right back in it after trailing by 20. Although the Warriors had worked their way back into the contest, the Cavaliers continue to play above and beyond their faithful's wildest expectations. Back to LeBron. He throws it down. This place is going nuts. Back to Delvadova. 10 to shoot. Behind Curry. Now down the lane. Off balance. Shoot. Throws a prayer shot. He backs it in. Delvadova was falling down to his left. The Cavaliers, they were having the control of the series in that time. And they were making hard times for us on the court. Long series, right? Long series. What's important is that we keep building and we grow every play, every possession. Whether we win this game or not, we got another game in two days. So let's get our poise, let's get our execution, let's get our brains. Down eight with just 90 seconds remaining, the Warriors were not prepared to go quiet. Deep three straight on, got another one. Because Steph Curry had finally appeared to find his rhythm. Here come the Warriors. It's Curry left sideline. Gets it open. Daylight fires a three. Got another one for the far side. It's a one possession game. But the late rally would fall short, and the Warriors would instead find themselves in a hole. Curry lots and it's stolen by James. That's fouled by Thompson. Another extraordinary performance from LeBron James. The Cleveland Cavaliers have taken a two games to one lead in the NBA Finals. Every single person who steps on the floor, we have to fight the whole game like we fought in the last quarter and a half. Look, it's 2-1. We're in the same position in Memphis. All we got to do is win one game here. We can't get our heads down. And um, it's the finals. There's uh, a lot at stake. So we got to, we got to compete every second. Are you considering perhaps a lineup change for game four? I don't anticipate making changes in the lineup, no. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. In the lead-up to Game 4, the Warriors' dream season that had been such a source of joy since opening night was suddenly teetering on the nightmarish possibility that they could find themselves pushed to the brink of elimination. Game 4, that, that's going to be the game that sticks out in my mind. Absolutely a must-win game for the Warriors. You don't want to go down 3-1 to the best player in the world. Being down two to one in the finals, those are moments of adversity. What's Is the biggest frustration at this point, Dre? There's a lot of them, but Anthony, are you there? I think the main one is being down two one. We lost those two games and you put some pressure on yourself to figure it out. Whenever this relatively inexperienced squad entered uncharted waters, they turned to their savvy skipper to recalibrate their course. We were a little bit stuck in mud through three games of the finals. Cleveland was doing a great job of slowing us down. So we talked a lot about ways we could get going. But one idea that jumped out at me came from Nick Uren, our, our young assistant coach. He said, why not start Andre and go small? There would be adjustments coming off the bench versus starting. That kind of set the tone going forward. I knew I, I knew I'd be confident. They came to me and said, look, we're going to start small. You might not play a lot. I'm not going to sit there and grow up. We've got a chance to win a championship ring. Spacing, activity, this what that is. It's us anyway. It's who we've been all year long. That's what tonight is about. Stay desperate as we've been. Stay desperate. Every game for us is a game seven. We have zero room for error. 
Team Kurt changing things up. They're going small. Andre Iguodala will start for the first time this season. I liked the idea because Andre was our best defender on LeBron. So we were comfortable with that style. The biggest question was could we rebound and could we defend Cleveland's bigger players? We played a minute 40 inside. Bonskoff gets free. And Bonskoff throws it down. At the outset of game four, it appeared that Steve Kerr's worst fears might be realized as his team quickly fell behind. Weather the storm. They got a lot of energy right now with the crowd. In over 48 minutes, they're playing seven people. They're going to wear down. Once Coach put me in that star lineup, I decided to just go out there and step up and do whatever it took for our team to win. Outlet, Iguodala, breakaway slam with a right hand. Andre was fantastic in the NBA Finals. Not only notice what he did offensively, but defensively. With our LeBron, you know, possession after possession, he had to work for all of that. Andre Iguodala with another fine defensive play. They couldn't keep up with us. Clay feeds Draymond for three. It's on the way. It's up and good. Draymond. They were going to have to adjust us. And no team in this league, small lineup, can compete with ours. Roll reversal tonight. It was the Cavs that were taking the fight to the Warriors. But tonight, the Warriors really putting up a good fight here in the first half. Kerr's new game plan had taken a toll on the home team and was working like a charm. The Cavaliers were staggered and found themselves down a dozen. Game four headed to intermission. One thing that should never happen and cannot happen second half is for them to play harder than we are. We got to lay it out there. Till you're done. To start the third quarter, Cleveland came out with a newly found aggression. Cavs in transition. Delva Delva middle of the floor. Lock to LeBron for the dunk. Crowd back into it with this run. Here's the double team. Mozgov wisely comes across. Perfect execution there. At seven assists for James. 21 points for Mozgov. To me, right now, the momentum seems to be going the Cavs' way. Keep playing. Game's not over. Keep playing. No momentum. What a pivotal moment right now in this series. At the fourth game, it was the game that we really stepped up. We got our confidence back. Flips it up. Shot short. Curry gets a running start. Watch it. Watch it. Watch, watch, watch. He's got one man ahead of him. Goes past Jones. Nice feed to Thompson. And the lead back up to 10. Quick timeout. We don't need to do anything special. Everybody rebounds. Good shots to great shots. Let's get great shots. But Steve Kerr was not quite done tinkering yet. Making the most of his deep roster once again, Kerr turned to a former All-Star, David Lee. Now this is a big move right here. We're bringing in Lee, better passer and playmaker for you at that center position. There was a point in game one or two, I told him on the bench that, you're gonna play in this series, and he was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, didn't believe it. I said, we, we need some inside scoring, and you're one of our best inside scorers. Bounce pass to Lee, had a right hand layup. He had a huge game four for us, and he was ready. You can say all these things about sacrifice, but to actually see it happen and see it play out, it's a testament to the players that sacrificed, and it's also a testament to Steve's ability to push the right buttons. On the game's biggest stage, the first year head coach had impacted the series with his first rate decision making. Rotation to Iguodala, the triple, it's down for Andre. Kerr's club had regained their swagger with a 21 point victory, evening the finals at two games apiece, while once again reaping the benefits from their shared sacrifices. That speaks to what we have as a team. Everybody was ready when called upon. I told you through all that you went through, you're gonna help us win a title. The identity of our team was just selflessness. Every player was committed to winning. And when that happens, as we've seen, uh, magic can occur. That's a real, now that's, that's a real thing. Right and that's there. coaching. That's good job, you guys. When I was asked today if Bogut was starting, uh, I lied. I don't think they hand you the trophy for based on uh, morality. They, they give it to you if you win. So sorry about that. Now we go back to the Bay, home court advantage, best two out of three. And uh, we got a tough task ahead of us, but we're ready for the challenge.
After a hard-fought win to recapture the home court advantage that swung the momentum back in Golden State's favor, the fans could almost taste the elusive title, even if there was still more work to do. We out here talking about the Warriors. Well, we all know they're going to win the finals, so there ain't too much talk about that. The energy level got to be there. They have to play their game and don't play nobody else's game. What they have to do is just keep putting Steph Curry through the isolation. He got to get hot. It's game five between the Warriors and the Cavaliers, the winner to take control of the NBA Finals. Clay Thompson puts on the brakes, now the timeline gets a screen from Draymond. Thompson finds three. Perfectly executed, pick and roll. 16-11 Golden State, 325 to go. Beautiful drive from LeBron James. LeBron James zigzags through the basket from the left wing side, gets fouled, puts it up, puts it in. LeBron James has been superb with a near triple-double in the first half. J.R. Smith, front court, turn it toss. A three is good again. That's it, Joe. Hey, get in here. We've lost our competitive fire. Come on, let's go. Compete. Ten to shoot. Backdoor shovel to Iguodala behind Ooh. the back of David Lee. A beautiful pass. And Lee with a two-hand rim racker. While the supporting cast was keeping it close, yeah! hope remained strong that Golden State's leading man would once again emerge. It's been a wild first half. Curry steps back. Bang! 12 lead changes here in the first two quarters of game five. We have come this far and come through a lot because we never have given in. Make sure we're matching their energy. It's our half. It's our kind of game, man. I love it. Control of the series hung in the balance as the second half began. Livingston up top. Deals to Barnes. Right side Barnes in the lane. Over Moskov. Throws it down. And a foul. Harrison Barnes took off from the side of the lane and threw it down over the seven footer. Poise and execution and just run at every three point shooter. All right, here we go. Let's fight. The Warriors' resolve was tested as they struggled to contain the King. Five to shoot. Back out LeBron James. Puts up a three. Gets it to go. And now another triple-double for LeBron James. That's a true test for us, because now it's that one guy that's arguably the best player in the world going against us and our strength and numbers and our team. Their best chance against the four-time MVP was to turn to their own most valuable player. You know, LeBron's really good. But we also know Steph Curry's really good. This is your kind of game, man. It's your kind of game. You can get anywhere you want against these. Come on now, dig in, get a stop right here, dig in! When he was needed the most, at this critical juncture in the pivotal game of the 2015 NBA Finals, Steph Curry unleashed an attack to put his signature on the series. I always tell people, you can play whatever defense you want. If he misses a shot, it got nothing to do with you. He just had a rough couple games. But I knew that he would get to that point where he was being great for us again. Curry at the right point. Works on Televandova. Takes a step back three. Oh, Stephen Curry with some magic. Another eruption from the Oracle crowd. We knew Steph was going to eventually hit shots, and he's a MVP for a reason. Curry gets a screen, dribbles on Televandova. Both behind the back, left hand crossovers, fades and fires. taking a 3-2 lead in the NBA Finals. It was fun to see Steph back to himself in Game 5. It's the NBA Finals. Everyone wants to play their best basketball on the biggest stage. I mean, this is what you dream about. And, you know, to struggle early on and to, you know, probably hear some criticism and all that kind of stuff, probably weigh down a little bit. But for him to come through clutch when we needed him to, I'm sure there was no better feeling. Game 5 to the home team. Game 6, Tuesday in Cleveland. The Warriors can win the title. The Cavaliers will try to force game seven back here. You know, Steph is Steph. He carries us. Yeah, Pay attention to detail. We can keep competing. We can get this done in Cleveland. That's, and that's the goal. Get the next one, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. One more game! One more game! Went in six! First time in 40 years! Yeah. Got a huge win at home. One step away from our goal. All this is about uh, winning one more game, no matter how we get it done. Hopefully we get it done on Tuesdays. It's been 40 years since the Warriors 
last celebrated an NBA title. Today, they're one win away from making history again. You've earned the right to be here. You've earned the right to play in this game. But we have to earn one more thing, and that's the game tonight. Nobody's giving us anything. Showtime, baby. Get it up. We approach game six like this is the final game of the season. And everyone's locked in and we're gonna leave it all out there and the season ends tonight. Hey, let our focus on every single possession, every quarter, make the result that we want tonight happen, all right? It's to be us, be the best way to go. Just us, one, two, three. Just us. Just us. Just us. Just us. after the inbounds with the shot clock at eight, right side Draymond Green, the action cutting. It's a beautiful back door with Curry who lays it up and in. All right, good job, guys. Good start. Boys, boys, take care of the ball. Keep defending. Their unselfish nature was on full display as the Warriors found success by finding the open man. Iguodala gets to the Curry. He'll fire and hit a three right from the Golden State bench. And a big difference in the last couple of games for Golden State. They get off to good starts. Come on, guys. They made a run. Let's run right back at him. One play at a time, fellas. One play at a time. We're all right, fellas. Back to LeBron in the corner with the clock at three. Guarded by Livingston. Step back, corner three. It's good! What a shot by James. These Cav fans do not want their season to end tonight. James drives off balance. Thompson on the follow. Now on the half, the Cavaliers are back within two in this must-win game six. We're doing some good things. The first quarter, we moved the ball a lot better than we did in the second. We started settling. Now it's just a matter of executing and doing our jobs. After intermission, Golden State began to create separation from Cleveland. As the lead ballooned to 13 points, with Andre Iguodala leading the charge. Iguodala, two hand slam. Beautiful feed by Curry. Get up! Get up! Picked up by Barnes. Warriors will push ahead to Iguodala. He'll drive, gets to the rim, and hammers it down with the right hand. Great position. It's all about defense and rebound. Guys, there's a lot of game left. Don't put your hands down. Play. A lot of game left. Come on. Green outside the arc on the right. Kicks it left side. Taken away by James. Here's LeBron to the basket. Ducks it with the right hand. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point game, and the energy is back in Quicken Loans Arena. Going against LeBron James was one of the ultimate tests for this team, as withstanding that kind of pressure. When you get to the finals, it's about grit. It's about the, the will to win. It's about who wants it more. And as a team, collectively, we wanted it pretty bad. Strength in numbers had defined the Warriors' drive to championship glory. And they triumphantly cleared that final hurdle together. Back to Draymond, up and under, throws to the corner. There's Iguodala, he'll let it launch. Iguodala, wide open shot, hits the three-pointer. Golden State could start their celebration. When you finally can relax and just celebrate, it's just a moment of just pure joy. And nothing I would rather have than celebrate with my brothers on the court. And it's over! The championship is back in the bay for the first time in 40 years. Steph throws the ball in the air. Uh, I'm looking for the ball. I don't know who to run to. And then I'm in the circle and I see Steph. I'm just jumping up and down. And from there on, it's just surreal. And it goes by so fast, but uh, you remember every second of it. And the dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Why we did it? We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We Culmination of years together and guys, nine, ten years in this league to working up for this moment. Man, it's something you dream as a kid. And one of the great regular seasons in the history of the league, 67 wins, is going to end with a title. This year's Bill Russell MVP is a player who didn't start in a single game until these finals, Andre Iguodala. Andre won MVP. That's fantastic. Oh, my God.
Winning a title is so special because each individual player has his own unique story. About the guy who comes off the bench all year and gives up his starting role wins MVP. Yeah, the finals. it's perfect. And then you combine all those stories and you feel the same sense of satisfaction at the end and you share it with one another. There's no better feeling. To see the sacrifice that Andre Iguodala specifically made and then to be MVP of the NBA Finals, it's a testament to Andre, it's a testament to the rest of our team, the players that sacrificed, and it's also a testament to Steve's ability to push the right buttons. It was tremendous on all levels. To be in this position, world champion, with a group of guys that I love, is special. Because I know the dedication, the commitment that we all have. understand how hard the journey is to get here. 12 years, 11 years, people play their whole careers, never get a championship. We got one. We earned it too. We earned it. We champions, baby, for life. Getting to celebrate with a group that gets along so well made it that much more special. It's something that I'll never forget. It's one of the most amazing nights of my life. For the Warriors organization to be celebrating a championship for the first time in 40 years, uh, there's a lot of people that you know should be proud of that. Players, coaches, Bob Myers, our GM, and obviously Joe Peter for when they took over the team to get this done. We did have an expectation that we could do this in five years, and by the way, it's been four years, seven months, and one day from the first game that we took over as owners to the night we won the championship. That last day, by the way, was the best. <laughs> Everything that happened all year long was just building, building, building. And here we are, sitting as NBA champions, and I'm fairly proud of it. From 23 to this, come on! We gotta have this, right now! It was an exhilarating experience. I cried, I actually cried. I didn't cry when winning the Oscar. I didn't cry winning the Golden Globe. I was thrilled, but this was emotionally exhausting. It was not a sprint, it was a marathon. We're world champs. This is something they can never take away from us. We'll have a bond for the rest of our lives because of what happened this year. This is great. This is what it's all about. It's what you dream about when you're a kid. It's just amazing to actually achieve it. The prize was the championship, the championship season, all the men and women who worked to make the success. This is just a celebration of joy of that. You just gotta enjoy the moment. I, I got tired of smiling. You know you're in a good state when, when, when that's happening. Just to see the appreciation, all the love. Fans everywhere. They waited a long time for this to make this happen. It was just surreal. I mean, every time you go around a new corner, everybody cheering for the Warriors family. We had no idea that it was going to be this many people to show up and support. So it was one of the coolest days of my life. It's all happening so fast, you just kind of want to slow down and just enjoy it. Because a lot of hard work has gone into it be with my teammates and celebrate. This is special and something I'll remember for a long time. This year, the Golden State Warriors proved everything you can prove on a basketball court. They fought like warriors. They fought like champions. We celebrate together today.
change, injuries happen, but to be able to win this championship with this group of guys right here, uh, there's nothing more special to me than that. What a journey it's been for everybody in this organization, everybody in the Bay Area. You know, I think back when I first got here, man, I, it's the first time I've been on a team with someone who shoots it better than me. I wanted to hate the guy, but you just can't not like him, man. <laughs> I saw all kinds of crazy stuff. I saw a guy hanging off a traffic pole. I saw a guy in a tree. And we appreciate all y'all. I mean, the Oracle Arena was the best home court around the league. All of Dub Nation, we did it, we did it. So. Let's celebrate. Thank you very much.